Quam in Baptis Mate Recipis, De Ego Facultate Mihi Ab Apostolica Sede Tributa, Indulgentium Milnarium, Et Remission Omnium Decretorium, In Di Concepto, In Omni Pactis, Del Fili, Del Spirito Santo. Place. Where do you want me to start? I liked it. Good. You can stay there. Very funny. ...is continuing as energy shortages remain widespread throughout Europe and the United Kingdom. Polls are suggesting that support for the far-right national... Can we put some music on, please? Or we could just have me. Is how much for paint removals? Twenty pounds. Cheeky sods. Hi. When are Brian and Rita showing up? When it's too late to help. Typical Brian. Typical Rita. <laughs> Hi. I hate it. I don't know you're born yet. What's that spacker doing here? Hmm. Yeah, from school. And she smells of piss. Sally. Pretend you're in an old people's home. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Sally! You didn't break anything, did you? No, we took care of it. If I take these chairs in myself, I'll get this discount. Of course you Oh. Panic over. Ooh. I've got a job for you. Oh, bugger, I thought we'd missed all that. Moving in present. <sighs> what, a day off? Down. Yeah, no rest for wicked. First three of yours. <gasps> Ooh. Ah. First three. Yeah. Bath's that way, love. <laughs> Come on, look at like you're happy, will you? Come on. So you get that thing out of the bedroom? Hi, <laughs> cheap son. Hey, why do you think I've got a dark room? Right? <laughs> <laughs> You can come down any time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Castlefield Woods. Come on, here we go. Smile. Been in there. <laughs> so? It's right mysterious. Hey, turn around. Come on. Oh, what's with long face? I can cheer up, you'll always be ugly. Did you hear Come in, look. Bust my camera. Come in. Oh. One goes. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful girls. That's how it's done, you see? <laughs> oh, go on, you two share one. To the new house! To the new house. Cheers. Cheers. To the new house. Cheers. <laughs> well, Bubbles have gone up my nose. What? <laughs> oh, that's it. Show me some love. Beautiful. Not like that. <laughs> hey, what's up, love? I thought you were happy. I'm more than happy, then. Down here, look over here. Makes you sick, doesn't it? I think it's nice. You'll be getting home. Oh, easy. It's not that kind of suit. 
Oh, it could have been a model. Oh. Lovely. And again, what's the birdie? Come on. Dad? Yes, love. Did you just move my stuff? Are you kidding, aren't you? Put it back before your mum sees it. Avocado. What? Avocado. Look nice in here, wouldn't it? Do you mean green, love? Oh, you have no sense of style, then. Or more pertinently, money. Oh, cheer up, love. All right, love. I don't like this house. It gives me the creeps. Oh? The lights went on its own last night. Did you leave a window open? Buckaroo went off. It's was supposed to do, isn't it? By itself. Believe me, dear. Time for school. It subsequently led to the demise of the Catholic Church in England. The monasteries were closed down by a witch, King. Sir, 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 sir. Sally. Sir, she's drawing a picture of you, sir. She fancies you, sir. Look, she's gone red. Hey, right, girls, that's enough. <laughs> Ring out, Sally. Come on. See ya. It's really good. In fact, I would say it was excellent. If this was an art class. And you got my hell wrong. Detention. <laughs> <laughs> right. And someone to tell me who closed down all the monasteries. Sir, sir, What's sir. It? Henry VIII, sir. Good girl. How many wives did they have? Here on my own. You haven't gone long. It's ten bob on the shelf. There's some here. Stop it, love. You're a big girl now. Behave like one. If I'm a big girl, why can't I come? She's too young. Can't wink on her. Nope. 
Bye, love. See ya. Set off then. Sally's got it into her head that we're not alone. What do you mean? We've got a ghost, the daft cow. She's a daft cow, isn't she? Rita, look, I thought I saw some of myself. Well, don't tell her that. We'll never hear the end of it. Weddings. Oh, well, that's new. <laughs> she is, love. New place. Love, a child's toy coming down the stairs does not mean we've got a ghost. It's late. We're all tired. Bed. I believe you. Oh, she went mad. Did she? She'll ask for you next time. <laughs> oh, Another bloody power cut. Be nice if they gave us some notice. Well, you've still got the lights on. I don't know where they are. Hmm. Jesus, what was that? I'll give you one guess. All right, madam. Bloody hell do you think you're playing at? <gasps> you little sod! That's a ghost? My ass it is! Jesus. <laughs> no stopping in here. I'm going to go and see if she's okay. Get 
the torch. Welcome in here. Come in. Look, it wouldn't be the first time she's played tricks, would it? This were different. How? It just were. What about the lights? They're switched off at mains. The noises? It's just a kid's farmyard record, that's all. The tap? The tap needs a new washer, love. What about the grandfather clock? Well, did it fall? Or were it pushed? It's hard to tell. Look, it's obvious. She don't want us here, right? It's just a form of protest. She put all her stuff out on land, you know. Blame it on Sally, or you want that now? She'll be fine. You don't believe me, do you? No. No, I don't. Where's Mum? Well, she's tired, she's still in bed. I'll take a tea up. I don't want her upset, love. But you don't mind if I am? Get on with it then. Look what I found in the library. It says, all spirits chill down rooms, throw stuff and turn lights out. You know what I think? What? I think there's a perfectly rational explanation to all this. Hey, you've got a ghost. I think Len had a point. What, blaming it on Newman? We've had a few in all. Uh, you don't get that from two baby shams and a rum and pep. Are you sure it's not just wishful thinking? I know you're into all that stuff. I felt it, you felt it, she felt it. It weren't wishful thinking or a kid playing tricks. You don't know what she's like. Uh, but I know what I saw. Maybe if you had a kid of your own, you'd understand. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry, love. I didn't mean to say that. It's all right. I just want everything to be nice, that's all. I know. You're just like all the rest, aren't you? Don't go. You hurt me today. I'm sorry. Do you really fancy Mr. Price? None of your business. Yeah. He's right nice, isn't he? It's like John Denver. It's not like John Denver. You fill up my senses like a Stop night. Stop it. I like him too. Hands off. I best got him. Not yet. Eh? All right. Would you like to blow up a Cindy doll?
Little bugger, is that my car? Wait till I get my hands on it. I hope that's not you, Sally. What are you going to do now? Leave. Who oh, I? Oh, come on. What else are we going to do? Where to? It was hard enough finding this place. We'll be back to the bottom of the council house waiting list. Ah, uh, yeah. But if we tell them about the ghost... Oh, like they'll believe us. What about Father Clifton? After a seven-year absence from church, he'd slam the door in my face. You know you're always welcome at mine. I'm not being driven out, and that's final. Well, you can bugger off. What do you want? Isn't it? Avocado. What do you mean green? <laughs> That's what I said. You know, if you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Yeah, that's the kind of logic that passes a buy when you want some, isn't it? I hear you've got a spook. What of it? You told the papers, yeah? Oh, aye, yeah, that's all I need, isn't it? Reporters running around. There might be a few bobbing it for you. I've got a mate who works for the Express. Give him a call if you want. I think I might not want the papers. I just thought it'd help us case if we decided to move. Well, they think it's a hoax. Well, they won't, will they? Besides, I'll pay good money if they like story. Tell them it's off. It's a bit late for that, love. Right. 
this is uh, this is where it came at me. And what did Mr. Maynard? Well, it's like um, I mean, like a presence. A presence? A spectral manifestation. Did you see it? Well, no. Uh, did it touch you? No, but, but look, I was terrified, Mr. Smith. I bet. I don't think there's anything here that'll interest our readers. Oh, come off. Everybody loves a ghost story. Yeah, but you'd need a ghost for one of them. What do you say, Mr. Smith? I'm a reporter. I don't see anything concrete to report on. Well, maybe if you stuck around, I mean... I'll some... see myself out. Well done, soft ass. Sod off. Really, Mr. Maynard, I'm a very busy man. Look at my hair in that picture, it's awful, isn't it? Well, it doesn't even bloody mention me. It's not fair, is it, love? No, it chuffing well ain't. Can we come see it? Mum doesn't like people coming into the house. Are you making up? My dad says you are. No, it's all true. How much of the paper's paying you? Leave her alone. She's tired. You're trying to get well in. Spaz. Waz pants. <laughs> Who are all them people? Idiots. What's going on here? The guarded saw, Mrs. It's a pound, but it's worth it. Shift out. It's my bloody house! This is my daughter's room. Not a lot happens in there. <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll be right back. What the hell do you think you're playing at? I'm making us a few quid, love. Get rid of them. Do you want a new kitchen or not? Now! Are we next? No, you're not next. Show's over. Go home, everyone. Just, just go home. Dad! 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 What? Can I have ten bob, please? Sod off. It's wrong, it. it up, not taking it down. I didn't do it. Oh, bloody hell. Where'd you get that? Nicked it from shop. It's horrible, isn't it? Sinker. Is it? Rubbish! I'll get booted out.
Who doth thou belong to, pray tell? No one. Then thou must bugger off. Tipsy. Me too. You ever been drunk before? I sometimes pinch a bit of sherry off at mum. Are you coming to my birthday party? Of course, if I'm invited. Of course. Was that you at the town hall? Really pretty, aren't you? I think it is. What? It. I don't know. Alas, it'd be a lad. That narrows it down, doesn't it? What do you think then? I'll tell you what I think it is. What? Evil. Where were you tonight? With Lucy. Good. I'm glad you found a friend. A live one, that is. I don't know what you're about. And then, right, these disembodied hands come round the door, wearing our lasses' best gloves, start conducting. Never. Yeah, hey, we're good and all. Get right good time. What about your family? And them? Jesus, got them fair rattled. Still. Sure they appreciate having a big, tough bloke like you around, eh? Who are you, then? A friend. Well, friend, maybe it's time you buggered off home. <laughs> I was going to suggest the same to you. Yeah. Cheeky fucking twat. Leave it, Len. Come on. Leave it. Come on. Leave it. Cheeky twat. What's he from Keyes, eh? Fucking arsehole. <laughs> maybe he had a point. What? Thought you were me mate. I'm just saying, you should be at home. We had a row. So? Go on, make it up to her. I ain't even done all. He married Len. You don't have to have done out. Good job then, isn't it? Only if we let it. Hello, you must be Sally. Hello. Come in, love. Am I the first? Did Lucy not mention sweetheart? It's just the two of you today. birthday. What's up? Don't you like it? I could always take it back. I love it. Come on. 
Where's your dad? Ran off with a scarlet woman. Mum tells everyone he's on nights. Sally, love. Come here. Sit down, love. Can you do me a favour, please? Would you make sure Lucy doesn't go in your house? Okay. Promise. Promise. Thanks, love. Is it because of the ghost? It is, love, yeah. Mum and Dad in sweets, are? No. Do you mind if I wait then? What's it about? You've got a malevolent spirit, and I can get rid of it. If you want it got rid of, that is. Let her know I'll call, will you? All right. It then. That's enough. Len. Yes, You know, more than you're telling me, young lady. Get dressed. You come with me see Father Clifton. You're going anywhere. You're going to you are. Don't any care, no, little come on, bitch. Come on, come on, love. Come on. I'll deal with you later. It's four in the morning, love. It might be up. I don't bloody care. Shall I go? Oh yeah, you go. Let the whole fucking community know about us. Jesus Christ. 
The ghost of a young girl, you say, Jenny. Why didn't you come to me before about this? I thought you took me out of my ear. What do you want me to do? Get rid of it, Father. From what you've told me, that would require an exorcism. An exorcism? It's a very serious undertaking. I would need to get permission from the bishop. Jesus. So what are we going to do now? I want to work with you. I'm sorry. It's all right. I was a bit harsh last night. Forgiven? Yeah. You know what I mean? Maybe you'll go with on the call. You never know, it might have gone already. Here we are, boys and girls, Neil's Bay Monastery. Oliver, definitely. Come on, guys, gather round. And here was the refectory, which was? Where the monks ate dinner and tea, sir. Very good, Lucy. Now, they had two meals a day in summer and only one in the winter. What did they eat, sir? Nah, just the essentials. Vegetables, meat and bread. Although they did keep bees for their honey. Sugar hadn't been invented yet. Come on. <laughs> What have you got? Mustard? What the blood hell is wrong with you? I like it. Lezzy's? Come on. I'm off for a pee. <laughs> All right. Try not to get it in your knickers. Okay. What is it? I'm not allowed in. Why not? Because of the ghosts, sir. <laughs> you don't believe in that nonsense, do you? Come on. It's real, sir. She told me. It wakes her up at night and plays with it. That's why she's tired, sir. You're watching too much TV, young lady. You don't have a TV, sir. How are you feeling, Sally? I'm all right, sir. You sure? Well, this is going to look after you till your mum gets back, okay? She's not supposed to be here. Ah, well. Just this once won't hurt, eh? See you later.
You don't have to stay if you don't want. No, it's okay. Where's your lav? Upstairs. Are you incontinent? I used to have to wear a nappy. So did I. Not when you were ten. Blackout. I have to go. Okay. Is that you, Sally? What? Nothing. You know I'm here, don't you? Hey? Do you not listen to a word I said the other night? You promised me, didn't you? Is she gonna be okay? I've had to take her to the hospital. Can I see her? No, you can't see her. And you won't be seeing her again if it's got anything to do with me, young lady. Do you understand me? Yes. She thinks the world of you. You're her only friend. What's going on? Your bloody daughter, that's what's going on. I've asked her not to let Lucy in the house. She promised me. And I've had her in the hospital. Shaken to death, she I is. I have no idea, Mrs Collier. Well, you do now. Oh, I didn't. I didn't oh, mean Look you. Wicked little cow. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, How did you do that? Bitch! <laughs> do something to her. Stop it. Don't. Stop it. Please don't. Please. Please don't.
Okay. Hmm. Did the bell go? Yep. I bet I got a pee. Uh, look, pee can wait five minutes. Sit here. I want to chat. Listen, Lucy mentioned something about you and the um, presence. Everybody's frightened of her. Because she does scary things, but I just think she's lonely. Her? Huh. Yeah, there's a painting of her in the town hall. It's not as bad as it looks, love. You made my mum cry. your death. That's where he found me. He took something from me. Sally, love, come inside now, please. It's lonely in there, and it's always night.
Just give it a chance, will you, love? Ghost free. If I'm not moving in. What, so we're just going to stick it out, are we? What else can we do? I'm worried about our Sally. So am I. Just not enough to give up your dream home, is that it? Oh, you bastard. So it's someone else's fault, isn't it? Well, I suppose I brought this down us, did I? It's not my fault. It's it never ghost. is, Why is it? Why don't point? you take responsibility? That's what I'm trying to do by bringing it here. harder. Look at it. You're a hard man to find, Mr Maynard. And who might you be? My daughter's teacher. She asked me to find out about your ghost. Oh, I? From what I could gather, she was the daughter of a local landowner. Her, uh, her oh. carriage lost a wheel in Castlefield Woods. She wandered off and they found her the next morning, strangled and half dead. She also had her tongue cut out. She was 13 years old, just like your daughter. And that's what's in our house? From what Sally tells me, yes. So? So what? Well, have you considered moving? <laughs> I've thought of little else. And what's stopping you? Have you met me, missus? Well, I'm sure she'd see sense if you told her what I've just told you. Aye. Yeah, well, that's our business, isn't it? So what's your interest in all this, anyway? A teacher's concern for a pupil. And one I happen to be fond of. Sally's a very special girl. See? It's like that, is it? Like what? I mean, it won't be the first time a teacher's taken a shine to a pretty young pupil, would it? Well, I'll leave that, in case you can't remember this tomorrow. <laughs> What are you looking at? What's the verdict, Father? He doesn't feel that there are sufficient grounds. So that's it then, is it? I'm afraid so. We'll have to move. That wouldn't be the end of the world now, would it? Don't be a stranger. The church can be a great comfort at times like... You have to do something. And be struck off. You'd like that, eh? Find out some stuff about the ghost. Try to talk to your father. Come on, again. Will you be okay? I'll see you tomorrow. you got murdered, but it's time for you to leave me alone. Lucy.
item belonging to the deceased would be a great help. Well, this is what's in our house. We need your help. I've already given my answer to your good lady wife. Yeah, well, he wants another one. Out of the question. I could lose my collar. you lose it anyway if we make these public. Who took these? Thurston Bell's answer to David Bailey. Yeah, the line's a bit off on that one, but yeah. What can you do? Blackmail's a very serious offence, Mr Maynard. Yeah, well, so shagging your housekeeper. If you're a Catholic priest, that is. I mean, what's she doing in this one, Brian? That one? I think she's uh, genuflecting. Genuflecting? Yeah. speak to us. Do you understand us? Then why don't you speak to us? Are you dumb? Will you go into the light? something unfinished here or with Len Jenny Sally oh love is she in danger no from Tell me. Tell me. No! Get her out of here now. Come on, love. Quick, come on, love. We'll go to my house. Sorry. We failed you. They were too much for us. They? There's more than one spirit in that house. I sensed a benign presence. And there's another one. Yeah. And that benign presence is a young girl that has caused most of the poltergeist activity. In an attempt to drive you away. Not to harm you, but to protect you. What does the other one want? She wasn't the first. There were others before her. Peasant girls. They were all rendered dumb. Just like her. Someone cut out. But she was educated. Before she passed away, she managed to give a written description of her assailant. So was it?
It was a monk from Nearsby Monastery, preying on the innocence of young girls. He could have caused grave embarrassment to the church. So he was tried, he was hung, and he was buried in secret. Well, thanks for telling us. I'm telling you now. I'll best be off, eh? I thought you were going to help us out. Well, I've done my bit, okay? So. What's Rita going to say when I tell her you're chickened out? You're a very ruthless man, let me know. Don't tarry with the responses, or we'll be in trouble. Let us proceed then. All holy saints of God. Intercede for us. From all evil, deliver us, O Lord. From all sin, from sudden and unprovided death, deliver, deliver us. to our call to help. Strike terror, Lord, to the beast now laying waste your vineyard. See, See the, the cross, cross of the Lord. Lord. Be gone, you hostile powers. It's freezing. It's up your top button, soft lad. Christ commands you! The majestic Christ commands you! The majestic Christ! 
Thanks, Father. Yeah, no hard feelings, eh? The negatives. Any of this ever gets out, I will personally skin you two alive. I'm sure I'll see the funny side of it later. <laughs> Give me one of that. You're still here, aren't you? Thank <laughs> you. 
小雷，睡着了。Come on, love. Come on, come on, love. Let's get you out of here. Come on. 